right there. So you got, you got a cup right there, right? So the cup right there, what can you do with that cup? Well, you get the cup, you, you put in some water or some type of liquid in there and you drink it, right? Right, you, that's what you do. You get the cup, you put, put whatever liquid in, you drink it. That's what the cup does. Technically, yes, that's what the cup does, but that's a cultural thing. That's a that's something that's a social situation of how uh, the society considers that and what it's supposed to do. So the society tells you that that's a cup, you drink off of it. Well, there's other things that you could do. You could create molds with it. You can make sand castles with it, creating shapes. Um, you can make them like little kids' earphone headphones, like little walkie-talkies. Um, you do so many different things with it, but the society sees a cup, right? So you can't, you're not supposed to see the cup. The cup is that the cup is not really there. What's there is a tool before it gets described and controlled as a cup. You get me? So the, if you can see StarCraft like that, then you no longer see a command center. You see a lot of different things. You see an overseer out of this. You can make it into a, an, an overseer. You can make it into a medevac, a huge medevac that doesn't die right away. Um, what is it? Um, you know, technically the SCVs are healing up the the BCs, so technically that's those are interceptors, right? So these things have interceptors, and the interceptors drop down and start repairing. You see that? Look at the interceptors. Oh shit! Oh shit! It's throw. It's like a command center. It's like a carrier. Oh, look at that. He's coming back. Oh, he warped. He's going to drop his interceptors. Oh, interceptors got dropped out. Right? Oh. So if you can see different things, you can, if you can see this as a, as, a, as a carrier, you know, then then you can see it as interceptors, and the interceptors are little repair guys, and they go in there. It takes a little bit of income, um, but like I said, like I said, you know, technically, technically a command center uh, pays for itself as long as you can send one, one mule down. And this command center provides me two supply, which is only 50% off, which means it's only 200 resources to make. You know, it's 400, you know, as a down pay, you know, as, as like a collateral, but then you get 200 back and it's only 200 technically because you have supply. You're using supply that shouldn't be there because you got a command center. So that's a penny saved as a penny earned. I saved myself 200. That's only 200 bucks, right? It is this whopping medevac. 200 bucks for a really strong medevac. Not the slow, not the fastest medevac, but it's a very, very, you know, nice medevac. Now, you, it doesn't have really good cargo, so SCVs can get in there, but it could make a really good planetary fortress. You know, so that's the science of StarCraft, how I see it. If you don't understand it, you could definitely say he, the guy is BMing, you know, the guy's BMing or he's trolling. But the way I play is not exactly troll. To me, I try to understand StarCraft in every little way that I can. It just seems like it's trolling for, you know, if you don't understand the science of what I'm trying to go for. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna do the BC thing. Um. 
a medevac drop. Command center upgrade complete. Another little bastard. Oh, it's a little add on complete. Base is under attack. Add on 
complete. Research complete. Mineral field depleted. Base is under attack. Your forces are under attack. Your field depleted. Base is under attack. is under attack.
You did? Yeah, I just got a macro as I do that. I gotta remember to macro. Get bases and stuff. Get my widow mines. <laughs> 